Well, from after the Civil War, uh, it was part of these amendments for reconstruction to bring the country back together after the Civil War. And this uh, amendment was uh, mainly identified to uh, help especially African Americans, uh, former slaves, to say that they have a birthright citizenship. And that's how it was passed, and it's been uh, upheld ever since. It's enshrined in the Constitution, and the President can't simply just uh, use an executive order to get rid of it. He'd have to have some sort of supermajority in the uh, Congress to do so, uh, in which he currently does not have. So um, I doubt that this would actually uh, be possible to do, but that's not stopping Donald Trump from talking about it. And some are perceiving that this is a way to distract from other real issues because his party's in trouble in this midterm elections. So, I mean, what would be the exact process? I mean, is Trump's plan realistic to you? He can try. It's uh, probably uh, unrealistic. It would eventually uh, go to the courts. I mean, you know, the judicial uh, courts, the Supreme Court will dis decide between the legislation. Trump's job is not to pass laws. It's to implement the laws. And the laws uh, in the Constitution, the strongest laws are in the Constitution. And uh, the 14th Amendment guarantees the right to citizenship through birthright. He can't just simply uh, get rid of it. And if he tries, uh, Congress and other people could sue him in uh, the courts, and it will go to the uh, judicial, to the Supreme Court, um, where it will likely fail. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, he's really doing this to uh, send a nod to his base, to show his base, especially the white nationalists and the white supremacists, who will have forever uh, opposed this amendment. They oppose the idea of birthright. They want to keep America for white Europeans. And uh, they don't want to share with other people, people of color especially, coming from uh, the southern border and from other parts of the world. And this is a way to tell them, look, I'm doing what you want and um, so they can help them on election day. Because uh, there's a lot of backlash to the Trump administration. He's uh, polarized the country. And rather than using uh, his uh, position to bring the country together, he's uh, using this type of uh, polarization and rhetoric against um, immigrants and aliens and refugees.